like it. We like the jingle. I like the jingle, Doc. It's catchy. I'm sorry, Carol. Please continue. I was enjoying that just a little too much. Yeah, we thank you. We're punching. We've been here almost six hours. That's my excuse. Yeah, punch drunk. The holidays are a tough time to resist temptation, and medical studies keep going kind of back and forth about what's good and what's bad for you. Surgeon and scientist Dr. Raul John Dial is here to ease all of our anxieties and possibly increase your enjoyment of the so-called vices. Okay, uh, lots of discussion about chocolate. Is it? Is this your part? Are you supposed to be asking this, or can I ask you this? <laughs> you, you kicked it off perfectly. All right. So first of all, no bad news today. Okay. And yes. a lot of patients have been complaining every time we go to the doctor. It's no this, no that. Right. Today we're going to change the game a little bit. So chocolate is an interesting one. It's proven to be good for your heart, but when you take it, you have to go get that 70% cacao that you see at Starbucks and other areas. That dark chocolate is not only nutritious, it can actually reduce heart attacks, and you don't have wow. to feel guilty about eating it. Nice. nice. And coffee, I know we all drink plenty of We've coffee here. We've already had here. some today. You hear conflicting things. I mean, I've heard it's good for depression, or yeah. uh, good so, or bad for so you. So this one we know a lot about. Once again, it has to do with antioxidants that come out of the coffee bean. It doesn't, it's not the caffeine. You can't drink Red Bull and say, I didn't get the same health benefits. But lower type two diabetes, lower risks of dementia, Parkinson, but you have to be careful with the trimmings. If you get the coffee and you put half and half and you fill it up, that's no good because now you got a lot of cream. Otherwise, a cup of coffee with just a sugar substitute is only five calories. And you can have a couple of cups a day and it's good for you. Uh, okay, real quick, the sugar substitute. People always throw the myth, I mean, it, myth or fact, it's bad for you. We don't know where the chemicals and the substitutes go. Great question. So there's the, the pink one and the yellow one. I don't want to get in trouble with any of the companies, yeah. right. but one of them, Splenda is the one my wife and I use, and she's, you know, we use it with our children as well. The pink one on some very sort of faraway studies, if you gave a ton of it to some mice, there was a, lot, a little bit higher incidence of cancer. Right. But that's not really applicable to most people. You still go to a coffee shop and get both. But I lean towards using the little yellow one mm -hmm. called Splenda. So a cup of coffee, had it this morning, five calories only and good for me. By the way, I use Splenda. Too? Splenda. So, yeah. so I always so find that they always have those aftertastes. Do they? Yeah. I don't know. But I want to save on the calories, you. though. Yeah. <laughs> I want to save on the calories and not put two or three sugars there in go. there. Okay. And get away with low calories and a health. Yeah. Health I like uptake. Splenda. Um, we want to hear some good news about wine. This was tricky, so I got to give you the medical caveat, you know, you know, drunk drivers is a huge problem. You can't operate machinery if you're taking prescription drugs, that sort of thing. Don't start drinking if you don't because you think it's going to be good for you. That's not what I'm saying. But the recommendations for one to two drinks a day is perfectly fine and it's actually good for your health. It's good for your heart, it's good for the blood vessels and the blood vessels that go to the brain. The trick is one to two drinks. So. A glass of wine is five ounces. You can't fill it all the way up to the top and say, I only had one glass of wine. One drink is a beer, or hard alcohol is one and a half ounces. Okay. So for women, it's a drink a day. For men, it's two drinks a day. And you can't bank it. You can't say Monday through Friday. <laughs> right. oh, I knew where you were going with that. You can't say Monday through Friday. Out of hand. You still got 10 on Saturday. Is there a difference between red wine or white wine? Another, and another good question. This we don't know. We know red wine helps. This actually has to do again with antioxidants from the grape, mm -hmm. from the skin of the grape that makes red wine. But it has, I think most of it has to do with just alcohol in general. But if you don't know, if you're wondering, lean towards red wine. So uh, the last question I have is, would you blush if a really beautiful woman carrying a cake came on the set and said, happy birthday, <laughs> happy Dr. John Doe. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday! Happy birthday. Uh, do we know if it's happy chocolate birthday. or vanilla? <laughs> this is important. No one knows. No one knows. It's a half and half. What is it? Ha it's strawberry. There you uh, go. Hope you like that. Doc, thanks again. In the strawberries. Happy holidays, Doc. All right, get them while they're hot.